This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk us through this 2024 Keystone Bullet Ultralight travel trailer. The uh, model number is 330BKQ. Okay, so this is a how-to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. It's not a, it's not a floor plan video. It's just a how-to video. Okay, so we'll start at the door side rear here. Now you can see you have power stabilizer. You have, have them in the back and in the front. One switch controls both rear and another switch controls both front. Uh, let me just look real quick here to see where we're at. Yeah, so your controls for your stabilizers will be here, right up here. One switch controls both rear, the other switch controls both front, okay? All right. So, going back around to the door side. This has uh, a kitchen here, and of course you have a, a grill here. Right. You also have a quick connect for, for the LP system, so you, this has to get gas supply from somewhere. So you take this hose here, the male end of that hose, and you're going to uh, plug it right into this female quick connect. And that's how you get, you get LP to your system, okay? Refrigerator, running water. Of course, you have light and storage, all the usual stuff. You have a... Uh, power awning with LED strip okay this rear door here is for you can access the bunkhouse and this half bath here uh, it has a sink and a toilet obviously um, keep in mind that this is a black tank flush this particular black fl tank flush is for this one here all toilets sit over a, sit over a black tank right so this trailer will have two flushes. So all you do, you pull the dump valve on your, your, your rear toilet, your rear black tank. Then you're going to hook the hose at the dump station right onto here, turn it on, and flush the tank. Like it says here, only use the flush, only flush the tank when the valve is open, so you don't get too much pressure buildup, okay? So make sure you leave the valve open when you're flushing it, okay? Um, this is a vent for the uh, range hood. So keep that in mind, when, if you're going to be venting to the outside, you want to open this, uh, this baffle here so it flaps freely. If not, you can just snap it shut. Um, uh, so when you're in storage or traveling, you can have it shut, but when you're venting, cooking and venting, you can, you can keep it open. Okay, so we have outside speakers. You have uh, TV hookups here, signal out, plus power plus a, a backing plate if you wanted to mount a bracket there. Okay. As we go farther, you have your front stabilizers, of course. Some cranks here. This crank here with the three-quarter inch on it, that, that one is for your power tongue jack. If this happens to fail for any reason, this power tongue jack, you can pull this rubber plug out you can use that three-quarter inch crank or a socket with three-quarter inch, whatever you, whatever you have, but you can actually operate this tongue jack, this power tongue jack, manually if you have to. Just like you can operate the, the, uh, the um, stabilizers manually also, okay? Uh, these are your switches. This one here is for your, for your front lights. Uh, let's go over here. You have a kill switch for the battery here. Deep cycle marine battery. You have two LP tanks with an automatic changeover regulator. The tanks are full. Uh, that's your power tongue jack, of course. Um, this plug here is made by, that looks like a GoPro plug. So basically it, it's, it's pre-wired. So it's pre-wired so you, could, you can get this portable battery charger from GoPro. And you would just basically plug it in here. The, ch the battery charger is a solar panel at that folds into a little kit, so I guess you would say like a little case. You would open it up, point it at the sun, and you could actually um, charge your battery if you want to. But that's just a pre-wire. That's an option. You do have your solar 
controller here because you have solar panel. Now, in order to operate this, there's no there's no panel inside to control it. it you have to use your phone. So um, this is Victron Energy. You go to the the Apple Store or the, or the Google Store and uh, download their app. And um, it's that simple. If they ask you for numbers, let's say they want you to to um, up uh, to um, uh, uh, flash the um, the software, um, you know, to a, to a more current current software, whatever, and they ask you for a password, you can go over here on this side and take a picture of that label there, and you'll be able to see what it is, and then you can just type it in when they ask you, okay? This is a kill switch here for your solar uh, charging system, okay? Uh, this is the your powered sprayer hose. That's a um, a reducer to reduce a 30 down to a 20 amp plug. Okay, the po the the controls to control your 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 two uh, stabilizers, the front and the rear, are right here. You can hear them going off in the distance, I think. Okay, um, this is just satellite and cable in. That's where you hook your spur up to, your hose up to. This is your uh, city water hookup right here. That's the most common way to get water to the trailer. Most places have city water. Now, if you happen to be going to a place that doesn't have city water, uh, like you're boondocking somewhere, you can you can pre-fill your fresh water tank right here, and um, then you can use the onboard pump to pump the water. I'll show you where the the switch is when we get when we get inside. But if you don't have city water, you can pre-fill this tank and pump the water using your onboard pump. Of course, if you have city water, you don't have to worry about the tank or the pump. Okay, so um, this is where you would winterize at here, right here, and then this is your 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 black tank flush for the front tank. Remember, you have two toilets, so you have two tanks. So that works the same way as the other one. You got to leave the valve open when you're flushing it. And make sure you do that. And of course, that's the position to winterize the trailer right there. Okay, it's all, all very simple. Uh, this has on-demand water, so uh, there's no water tank. It's just it's just on-demand. Let me get this open here. There we go. Thing to remember is there's a master switch right here. That's on. That's off. I'm going to leave it off for now, but uh, uh, I'll just turn it on so you can see it inside anyway. Um, but the controls are inside. I'll show you those when we get there. But if for some reason it's not working, always check out here and make sure that you have this on. All right. We'll talk about more about this when we get inside. Okay. Okay. That's the uh, vent for your furnace. Black tank and gray tank. Okay. Gray tank here also, and another black tank. This would be for the rear um, bathroom. You got a 50 amp power cord. Of course, we give you the uh, reducer to, redu to reduce it down to a 30. And then we give you the smaller one I showed you up front that to reduce it to a 20. Um, this is pre-wired for a backup camera kit. So keep that in mind, that's what you're seeing up there. Also, we're looking up. You have a ladder, which makes it easy to inspect the roof. The manufacturer states every 90 days you should inspect the roof. Um, make sure there's no cracking or separation in the sealant where water could get through. Make sure there's no damage to any of the roofing material or attachments by low branches, let's say, or road debris, anything like that. So you can't see what's happening up there unless you look. So it's important to, to stay ahead of things by inspecting it, okay? All right, so let's go inside. So, when we first come in the door here, this is your power converter. This converts AC to DC power. So, you see on this side, these are regular 120 AC circuit breakers like you see at home, and they're all labeled. So that's AC. So this is your control center like you'd have at home for your AC. But then, you come over here and the AC is uh, 
converted to 12 volt DC on this side. So you got 12 volt DC fuses here, and they're all labeled. So that's where the 12 volt comes from. The 12 volt also comes from uh, your tow vehicle when you're pulling it down the road. So it goes like this: when you're plugged into shore power uh, at the campsite or wherever you're at, when you're plugged in, this power converter will charge your battery, the one on your tongue. When you're pulling it down the road, your tow vehicle's alternator will charge the battery on the tongue. And at all times, the, uh, the solar panel on the roof will be charging the battery as it can, depending on the conditions outside and time of day, time of year, all that sort of thing, okay? Um, but this one converts 120 AC to, to 12 volt DC right here, okay? It's called a power converter. This, while we're standing here, this is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green, like it is. If not, get it serviced. It's obviously very important. So, if it's not glowing green, get it serviced. Okay. Slide room switch here. With the slide rooms, you know, the same basic rule. Uh, when, you're, when you're putting it out, make sure nothing's on the outside it can hit. And when you bring it in, make sure there's nothing on the inside. Make sure the doors don't get in the way. That they're going to get pulled loose or anything like that. And uh, same way with this slide here. So, okay. All right, so back to the panel. Your power awning here. Never leave the awning out unattended. If you're not going to be at the campsite, roll it in. Uh, it will get damaged by the weather if you just leave it out. Eventually, something bad will happen. So... And you have both of your slide, your one slide room and two, second slide room there, one and two. Uh, all of your levels are here, batteries charged, fresh water, so on and so forth. See, it gradu graduates up in one-third increments. Okay. When it comes to your thermostat, it's very simple. You just hold this for a few seconds until it lights up. And then you keep pushing the mode button to, to get through the different modes. Let me shut it off here, so just give me a second to get to it. You shut it off, you just hold it, like so, okay? Um, Alright, so that this table will bounce around a bit, so it's a better, it's a good idea to collapse it and, and let it sit on these cleats, or let it sit down in a lower position anyway. You, the, way you, the way you would collapse is by pushing this yellow knob to the right. You do that, you can just collapse it where the hinges are. It drops down, okay? Um, this is your your thermostat for your or your your remote control for your fireplace here okay got all different colors different temperature all kinds of stuff it's got a timer on it so you have that it's a really good space heater it runs on 120 ac and then of course this is your uh controller for your tv and sound this this is not just a tv it also has um fm radio it has two speaker zones um Inside, one is inside the trailer, two is outside the trailer. Uh, you have Bluetooth, so you can stream from your phone or your tablets, so on and so forth. So it does a lot of different things. Plus, it's a regular TV, of course. Okay. This is on, a, let me make sure here. That, yeah, this is on a swing out bracket here. So you can swing it out, put it in the position you want, but make sure you, you, you latch it when you close it up just so it doesn't swing around when you're in transit and you get damaged or or anything like that so okay now this has a 12 volt DC refrigerator in it. it runs on 12 volt DC so same with the freezer the microwave is a convection microwave okay this is the range hood we talked about I showed you the vent on the outside and if you're venting you want to open that vent, uh, that baffle in the vent outside so it flaps freely, so you can vent freely to the outside. It also has a light. Uh, when it comes to your... Um, range top here, you have three knobs here for the three burners, and then it's, this is your sparker. You turn it clockwise to spark it, and then the oven, of course. Let me see if... Yeah, the gas is turned on. It's that simple. For the oven, there's a pilot light at the bottom all the way at the back, if you can see it back there. So you're just going to go to the, the oven knob and go to the picture of the flame. 
you depress it, keep it depressed, spark it, once it lights you hold it for another 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermocouple, then you go to whatever temperature you want. When you shut it off the flame goes out, so does the, so does the pilot light, so you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Also make sure you travel with this in the closed position. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what else we have here. Your keys are hanging right here. This is uh, another pre-wire. If you're interested in getting really good um, public Wi-Fi, for example, you can scan this code and, and look at the options. It consists of a, it sure it says, it says 4G, but most people use the uh, public Wi-Fi uh, uh, function. It consists of a, an antenna on the roof and a router box that hooks right up to here. Just gives your family better public Wi-Fi. So you, if you're interested, you can scan that and see what the options are they have are. Okay, that's just another pre-wire. Um, your second air conditioner here runs, the controls are right here. Okay. Emergency window. It works like they all do, basically. You just push it through. You go all the way through with it, all the way through, and then just grab a hold of the button and pull out the screen and make an escape in an emergency. Um, of course, this, this bunk folds up. You can see the where it folds to, so you can latch it in the up position if you're sitting underneath it. You can also turn these uh, into two beds if you want. Uh, these uh, folding cushions, I guess you would call them. Okay. And of course, your, uh, you looked at this from the outside, your half bath. This is a, Remember, this is a GFCI. So um, keep that in mind that... Uh, uh, all the plugs in this trailer are wired through a GFCI. Even if it's a regular plug, it's still going to be wired through a GFCI. So let's say the hookup outside, the, one, the duplex outside, if, you, if you're using that and it pops, you're going to wind up resetting it inside here. Likewise, if, you're, if, you're, if you have a trouble with some of the, you know, you're not getting AC current at, at one of your receptacles, make sure you walk around and look at the, there's probably two, two uh, GFCIs in this trailer. So you look at them until you see the one that's popped and it's reset it. Okay. All right. So we'll go this way to the bathroom. Always travel with this rubber strap attached. Never, never travel without it attached. Because eventually these will bounce around and they'll slam against each other. Eventually, eventually one will get cracked. So, but if you hook these up and you latch it like this you'll never have that issue okay and inside as you saw there's just it's just a regular uh, regular shower you have a fan up here you have a, a uh, skylight there this toilet is just like the other one it sits over a black tank so remember that um, there there's another GFCI that I, that I, I taught, said there's probably two in here this is the other one um, this is your um, controller for your on-demand water. Uh, in order to use it, you have to have two things. Or, well, one thing you have to have you have to have water available, meaning you have to be hooked up to city water with the tap on, so it senses water. Otherwise, it will not light on gas. And if it doesn't sense water, it will not light the gas burner. Obviously, it to, to, does that to protect itself. Uh, another, if you're not if you're not um, hooked up to city water, you can you can fill your fresh water tank and then turn on your water pump and it'll sense water then so you can run it that way. This just changes for you can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Your temperatures are here. It's very simple. It's set at 120. So as soon as you uh, if you have a if you have gas hooked up and, and turned on and water hooked up and turned on, you just open up a, a hot water uh, valve and it'll you'll see it on the screen. It'll show that it's lighting and it'll It'll take it right to whatever temperature you're set at, okay? Alrighty. Very simple. TV mounting bracket and a hookup for a TV set. Another escape window, of course. Let's see what we got here. I'm not feeling it. There we go. Shade. Um, you have some storage under here, I believe, yes? Yes. 
Safe storage underneath the bed. Okay. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers it. So I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Please remember what I said about inspecting the roof every uh, 90 days. That's important. You can't see what's happening up there unless somebody looks, so make sure you take care of that. It should be part of your regular routine. And right now this trailer is, uh, is winterized. There's, uh, there's uh, antifreeze in the system. All the water has been purged from the system, so it's, it's good for the winter now. Okay? Thank you.